Hi everyone, Amy Galper here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a soapy sugar scrub and this particular recipe was one of my best selling products when I had my brand Boudinot's about 10-15 years ago so I can't wait to share it with you. If this is the first time at my channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified anytime that I do a video about essential oils, aromatherapy, aromatherapy education, aromatherapy entrepreneurship and botanical beauty formulation. So let's get into it. In this recipe, you are going to need just a few ingredients. And let me go through what they are and what the tools are that you're going to need to make this soapy sugar scrub. Today, we're only going to make about 100 grams, and that's going to be enough to fill about two two ounce glass jars, enough for one serving in the shower or the bath. So the tools that you're going to need in order to make this soapy sugar scrub is you're definitely going to need a digital scale and or, you know, a, a digital scale that can at least go to 0 0.00 and that has a good tear. So you'll be able to tear, which means that you put your empty beaker, your empty jar, your empty measuring cup on there, and then you're able to tear it down to zero. So you want to be able to have a scale that can go between grams and ounces, go to 0 0.00, and has a good tear. I will link a um, uh, link to this particular scale in the description below. So if you don't have one, then you can kind of see what I'm using. You're also going to need like stainless steel measuring spoons. I primarily use these to scoop out the ingredients. I prefer stainless steel because they're really easy to clean and sterilize. So I have a tablespoon size and a teaspoon size. The next things that you're going to need are beakers, glass beakers. And I like to get the ones that are slightly thicker and heavier because they can withstand stand heat. So if you're making another recipe that you need to melt anything or warm anything, this glass is able to withstand that heat. I have an assortment of sizes going anywhere from this little cute little teeny tiny one, which I like to measure out my essential oils, which is about five milliliter, five gram. And then it goes all the way up to this one, which is um, 200. Okay, 200 grams, 200 milliliters. So I think it's always great whenever you're blending products at home to have these glass beakers. Again, they're really easy to clean, they're easy to sterilize, and they're really versatile. So I have with me here, I have exactly six different beakers that I'm using for this six, um, uh, six ingredient sugar scrub that we're making today. The next thing that you're gonna need is I have a big bowl, okay? So I have this big glass bowl and this is what we're gonna mix all of our ingredients in. And one thing I wanna let's just let you know about before we get started blending is that whenever you're making products at home, even if it's something for yourself and your family and you have no intention of selling it at all, like selling it retail or anything, you still should be really mindful of keeping your space clean. So I always make sure that I wipe down the surface of my counter and like I have this stainless steel table where I do all of my blending and I have just some regular isopropyl alcohol, 91% that I've poured into this glass bottle with a sprayer and I, spray down my entire surface and wipe it down with a paper towel just to make sure that it's really free from germs and any other kind of pathogens that I don't want to get into my product. The next thing that I always do, especially if things start to get a little bit um, messy, is I like to line my surface with parchment paper. It makes cleanup really easy. And again, it's just another level of protection. And I'll put links to everything that I'm using in the description below. So now let's go through the ingredients that we're going to be needing for our soapy sugar scrub. Well, of course, we're going to need sugar. And I always recommend that we use organic sugar and you use the sugar that we cook with that is a fine grain. Please don't buy that raw sugar or, or bigger chunk sugar. Those big chunks of sugar are very scratchy for the skin. Even though this is gonna be on our bodies, it still can cause very kind of micro, micro scratches and abrasions. They're just not good for the skin surface. So make sure that you get a fine grain 
grain, easily dissolvable sugar, like the kind of sugar that we cook with. And honestly, I just picked up some organic sugar from my local market, and that's what we're using in this recipe. The next ingredient that you're gonna need is tapioca starch. Tapioca starch is one of my favorite ingredients, and if you've watched my other deodorant, how to make a deodorant recipe, I also use tapioca starch in that recipe as well. And one of the reasons why I love tapioca starch is it really offers the skin a really beautiful, soft finish, and it also gives the product a certain soft texture and bulk, which I really, really like. The next ingredient you're gonna need is citric acid, and that is very easy to find at any local grocery store or health food store, and even online, and I'll put a link below that as well. And this is basically a powder, and um, I got a big bag of it, and I've always stored it in a glass jar. So that is the citric acid. The next ingredient that we're going to be needing is you're gonna need what's called a liquid soap or surfactant, a foaming type of ingredient. And what I have here is called potassium cocoate. And I've put a link below about where I've purchased it. And basically what potassium cocoate is, it's saponified coconut oil. And what that means is, is coconut oil is mixed with potassium hydroxide and the oil is kind of explodes, so to speak. And the glycerin is removed from that oil and other things kind of remain and what remains is the soapy components. And that is what is in this bottle and this is what makes our foaming, uh, exfoliating sugar scrub really soapy feeling and really feel like we're getting a good clean rinse. The next ingredient that I wanna talk about is we are gonna be using some vegetable glycerin in our recipe. And vegetable glycerin, like I just said, is a byproduct of the saponification process. When you take a vegetable oil, you mix it with either potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide, and the oil kind of explodes, so to speak. And I'm serious, like really explodes. If you've ever seen a soap maker, they have to wear goggles and protective gloves because when they mix those two substances together, it, it, it explodes like in a science experiment. And what happens then is the oil kind of breaks apart molecularly and what's left is glycerin. So this is the vegetable glycerin. And the therapeutics of vegetable glycerin are really as a humectant, meaning that it absorbs moisture from the environment and brings hydration to our skin. So having glycerin in this soapy sugar scrub is going to also make the skin feel hydrated and clean and soft, etc. So that is the next ingredient. And then finally, what we have is our essential oil blend. And I've already gone ahead and blended my essential oils together in this cute little beaker here. And the essential oils that I chose for this soapy sugar scrub are Ylang Lang, uh, Kananga Odorata, sweet orange, citrus sinensis, and then we also have some clary sage, um, salvia scleria. And together, those three essential oils smell incredibly relaxing and beautiful because I imagine using this scrub in the shower at night before I go to bed, and I want something that's gonna soothe and relax my central nervous system. In addition to calming and soothing any inflammation or irritation on the skin. So those are our ingredients for our soapy sugar scrub. So let's get started making the recipe. As I mentioned, I went ahead and pre-measured out all of the ingredients to keep this um, video really precise so you don't have to watch me measuring everything out. And so let's start with how we make the recipe. So the first thing we, we are going to do is, it's kind of like baking. I'm gonna wanna mix all of my dry ingredients together first and then I'm going to add all of my wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. So that procedure is really, really important. You don't wanna kind of do things out of place. So the first thing that we're gonna do, again, is to pour all of our dry ingredients into our bowl. 
So we have our organic sugar and we're gonna pour that in because remember, we wanna pour all of our dried ingredients in together first and then put all of our wet ingredients in together. So as I'm pouring in the sugar, I wanna tell you a little bit about why I decided to use sugar over salt. So number one, sugar I find to be a much gentler scrub and exfoliant than salt. And like I said before, you wanna make sure that you don't get the really rough kind of sugar, but the kind that is more finely ground that's easily dissolvable in water. So what that means is when we're using it in the shower, it'll, it'll help to soften really quickly. But one thing that I particularly like about sugar on our skin is that our skin, unlike our digestive tract internally, our skin prefers to be slightly more acidic over being more alkaline. And sugar provides that acidity, which then helps bring more resiliency and protection to the skin. So now we're gonna pour in our sugar into the bowl. So we have our 74 grams of sugar. Now remember, we are making 100 grams of our scrub to fill two two ounce or 50 gram jars. So we have our sugar in the bowl and the next ingredient up is going to be our tapioca starch. Now the tapioca starch sometimes gets a little clumpy and it, you see how it kind of clings to the side. So I like to use a spoon to help guide it out of the beaker into the bowl. Now I chose tapioca starch over arrowroot, over cornstarch, over those other powders because I find tapioca starch to also offer a very beautiful soft finish to the skin and support that skin immunity and resiliency, and it works really well with sugar. In fact, when you blend the sugar and the tapioca starch together, you're gonna see that our sugar scrub is gonna have a very kind of pillowy, doughy, soft um, texture to it, which I find really nice when I'm using it in the shower or in the bath. So now I have our tapioca starch, and I have 5% or five grams of our tapioca starch. The next ingredient that is dry that we're going to add in is our citric acid. And citric acid is really, the purpose of the citric acid in this recipe is to stabilize the product because wet hands are gonna go in there and we just wanna make sure that it is protected from growing any kind of weird microbes or pathogens or anything like that. So the citric acid is really there primarily to stabilize the product and we're only using 0.5 grams of it. And this, unlike the tapioca starch, just kind of pours easily out of the beaker so I don't need to guide it with a spoon. So now we have all of the ingredients together in the bowl and then I'm gonna take a spatula, it could be a silicon spatula, spatula or a spoon or whatever you have to mix. And now I'm gonna mix all of the dry ingredients together, just like I would if I was baking, right? That you bake all, you, when you're preparing and baking, you put all of the dry ingredients together first, and then you add the wet ingredients. So now I have all of my dried ingredients mixed up, and you can see here in the bowl, I have everything beautifully integrated in the bowl, and now it's time to blend in my wet ingredients. And really the two wet ingredients that I'm doing first are the vegetable glycerin and the potassium cocoate. So remember the potassium cocoate is actually the soaping agent, the foaming agent. And that's actually gonna give the soapy sugar scrub its soapy feel and actually help it foam. So I'm gonna pour this in right into my sugar. The next ingredient that we're gonna add in is our vegetable glycerin. Now vegetable glycerin, I'm gonna tell you right now, is super gooey and moves like honey. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to pour out of your beaker. So here we go. So now that we have our vegetable glycerin and our potassium cocoate poured into our dry mixture, we're going to take our spatula or your spoon and we're going to mix it up really, really well. What you're gonna notice right away is that it's getting this kind of pasty, almost dough-like consistency, right? 
Look at how cool that is. So the next ingredient that we're gonna put in after we get this very nice dough-like consistency on the scrub is our blend of essential oils. And we are using 1% dilution of our essential oils, all right? So I have already pre-blended the sweet orange, the ylang lang, and the clary sage to equal about uh, one gram of the essential oil mixture altogether. So now I'm going to pour that into my bowl. And now that the essential oil is in there, I wanna really mix it up quite good in the scrub. And I'm gonna kind of work it like I'm working dough really making sure that that essential oil blend is well incorporated into my scrub. I'm gonna mix it for about a, you know, a few seconds. And I'm also gonna give it a nice, uh, oh, this smells amazing. So this is very cool. And now I'm ready to put it in my jars. So what I have here and I wanted to show you are some different examples of jars that you can use. I have two clear glass jars. One has an aluminum cap and one has a white cap. Doesn't matter, it's really about what you like and your taste. And then of course I have a amber jar with a black top. So it really doesn't matter what jar you use. Um, so I am going to fill up my uh, jar with the scrub and I'm actually going to use my tablespoon here because my uh, spatula is a little too thick to get into the top of the jar. So now I'm just going to fill my jar with the scrub. So here you go. And there you go everyone. We have this amazing soapy sugar scrub and I usually use almost this entire amount in the shower. It's kind of like a one serving thing, but this is really great for your entire body. I wouldn't necessarily use sugar on my face, but this is an excellent sugar scrub for your entire body. So I look forward to hearing what you think. So please go ahead, comment, tell me what you loved about this recipe. If you have any questions, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and that you ring the bell to make sure that you're notified every time I come out with a new recipe or other information about essential oils, aromatherapy, aromatherapy education, aromatherapy entrepreneurship, and clean beauty. So I'll see you in the next video.